Let's use an explicit proxy on our FortiGate running OS 7. Let's create an authentication rule and scheme and apply the proxy setting to our client browser. So let's start. All right, we have a LAN interface, which we will enable the explicit proxy on it. And we have an upstream link, which connects to our ISP router. So the very first thing that you will do is to head over to system feature visibility, enable explicit proxy. It is not enabled by default. The next thing is to move back again to network. You will see a new menu, which is the explicit web proxy menu. Listen on interface, just choose your LAN interface or any interface that you wish to enable. HTTP port will be, you can choose your own port, but let's just do the default port, which is 8080. We will also use it uh, for HTTPS traffic. And that's about it. We're not using pack files for our configuration. We will configure it manually. All right, now the next thing is authentication schemes and rules. How does the user will authenticate using Kerberos, using a web-based uh, authentication scheme? So let's create a new scheme. Let's name our skin, uh, let's name our skin web. And the method for the web-based authentication is form-based. We will create also a user that will authenticate through our proxy. Let's create our rule. And our rule will be web1. And the source address I have already. No, I have not. Let's create an address object for our LAN interface, which is at the 10.0.5.0. 10.0.5.0 slash 24. Okay, so we have our LAN interface. Let's just enable it on our source address. We're using the web scheme and that's about it. All right, now the next thing to do is to create our proxy policy. By default, it is set to deny. So let's just uh, create a full access policy and it is a explicit web proxy policy. It is enabled on port two. The outgoing interface is our port one, which is our WAN interface. The source is all and a user that we will configure right now. Let's just configure a user, let's name it proxy. And let's submit that. And now let's choose our user. Destination will be all. Service is web proxy. Enable which security profile that you wish to. All right, so we have the proxy policy. We have our authentication scheme and authentication rules, we have a user. The next thing to do is to configure the manual proxy on our Ubuntu device. All right, now let's move to preferences, proxy settings, and we, by default, it is uh, configured to no proxy. We will configure the manual proxy configuration. And the proxy is enabled on LAN 2, which is at the 10.0.5.1. The port number is 8080. We will also enable it for HTTPS traffic. Okay. Now let's close our Firefox. Let's open it again and let's move to YouTube. Now it asks us to sign into the network. So let's open the network login page. The user is proxy and that's the password. And there we have it.